Mark, today you and Avante are going to be driving a very special 2015 Mercedes-Benz G550. This G-Wagon, as it's uh, named, is in a very special emerald green over cream leather with only 40,000 miles. Very special truck and in the right color for the Eagles. Ah, uh, yeah. Brett, you look at me and you just think, this guy belongs in a G-Wagon. Thanks, man. Looking forward to it. Mark, thanks so much. Feel free to visit us at skymotorcars.com to view our entire inventory. Well, Avante, thanks for doing this. Appreciate no you. No problem. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. Nice vehicle you got here. Yeah, this is a really nice Mercedes that they were kind enough to give us. Our man Brett here at uh, Sky Motor Cars. You're just coming out of your off season. At the time we taped this, training camp's about to get underway. So how was it? Did you get away from football a little bit? Did you have yourself some fun, I hope? Uh, yeah, I'm um, not too far away, but I definitely took a good little break here. Um, I just purchased a home, so I was kind of here trying to get that thing, get my house together. So that's pretty nice. Uh, now, I, I, I didn't want to bring it up because it might be a sore subject, but you and Dallas Goddard officially broke up. <laughs> yeah. Right? You guys are living in separate places now? He finally left me. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, we, um, we're living in separate places, but we're only five minutes away. Oh, okay. So it's like we're still there, but we're not there. But I was just over there today, so you're going to go run some games up when I get back. Okay. <laughs> uh, I remember him saying last year that you guys had a goal to get ATVs or something, so yeah. you could just go back and forth from each other's houses. It was so. ATVs, but then we <laughs> thought about it, and I was seeing all these golf carts. So I think we're going to change it to the golf carts. I think that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> there we go. Is Dallas Goddard the roommate that washes the dish immediately, or is he the oh, let no. it soak guy? Oh, he's the let it soak guy and let it rotten after. <laughs> he's the let it soak and let it rotten after. I'm telling you, I come in here five days later, I said, Dallas, what is this? He's just sitting there on the counter. I said, you um, plan on putting this in the sink? He's like, yeah. Then he gets out like he gets mad. If you want, if you so mad, you do it. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> this past season, or maybe it was two years ago, you actually bought tickets or got tickets for your entire high school football program at Martin Luther King High School yep. in, in uh, yep. Michigan? Yep, so we played um, the Lions last year at home, and we get to play them again this year at home, first game, <laughs> so I'll be doing it again. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, so um, we played them last year at home, and I hit up um, Coach Spence. That was my um, college coach, you know, Coach T and Coach Spence, and, you know, I asked him how many guys want to come to the game, and he shot me a number over, I think about 30 plus, 40 or so. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of enough to give back to them because they did so much for me when I was um, coming out of high school. Just like I didn't start playing high school football until my junior year. And then they just took it upon of driving me around to all these colleges to see. So I get recruited. So that's the least I can do, you know, give back in any way I can. And some guys can go to the NFL games and watch and do things like that. So this year we play them again in our first game. So I'll be doing it again. I hit them up hey, soon. Hey. And you only played two years of high school ball? Yeah, two years of high school football, yeah. It was um, it was fun. I wasn't going to play. I was a baseball guy. And then I was like, my brother, oh, my god brother, um, Jalen, he was like, he transferred over. He was kind of like, yeah, man, like you got to play. You got to play with me. And I was like, ah, no. Nah. No, so Coach T came up. The coach came up to me like, yeah, I heard you're a ball player. Like, come show me what you got. I'm like, oh, yeah, you want to take this shot? I was like, I'll come show you what I got. All right. I just went out there. The first, I remember the first time touching the ball in high school. I scored a 70-yard sweep <laughs> touchdown, and I was like, whoa, it's oh, wow. kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, wow, so I, I, I can do this. I was, always, I was always the smallest person, though, so it was like, I was like, oh, man, I ain't trying to get hit that much, but <laughs> as this time went upon, I was like, all right, this is fun. Scoring touchdowns is fun. All oh, those people are cheering for right, me? Cheering for, right, for me? <laughs> Who, me? Oh, I'll do this anytime. <laughs> uh, now, one of your many talents, from what I understand, is you're a hell of a piano player. I wouldn't say hell of a pain on a player, but I would say mm. I can I can play. Um, I haven't played in a while because I'm not around a piano as much as now, but when I was growing up, when I started living with my uncle and aunt, my aunt used to have a piano in her home, and she used to take lessons, and I'd watch. And then all of a sudden she said, you want to play? I said, yeah, sure, I'd play. And I, I ended up start taking lessons from her, and when her guy comes in to teach her, he would sometimes sit down with me. Okay. So. I learned a little bit. So you can you can play a song. I can play I can play some songs. Yeah. You, okay. So all right, let me put you on the spot here. Let's say, party setting. Uh oh. Party setting. <laughs> party setting. So, uh, someone's uh, like, oh, start a little bit lower <laughs> than party setting. <laughs> oh man. Party setting. The place is packed, and uh, 
someone's like, oh, there's a piano, Avante, why don't you play? And then you get coaxed into playing. You have to play the, you have to play the, the, the piano. What's the song you're playing? Uh, what, what will rock the house? What's what's Avante Maddox playing on that piano? Oh, man, you put me on the spot here. I'll probably break out some happy birthday. <laughs> I'll play. There's a new one. Any, I'll, be at, I'll be at the party. Any birthdays in the house? <laughs> <laughs> I got you right here. That's it's, me. It's with one hand. <laughs> one hand. <laughs> no, I, um, so I play, like, songs more on the end of, like, because, like I said, I was taking the lessons with my um, auntie. So I can kind of, like, hear and I can play off hearing. Like oh, not wow. really reading the music as much. I know how to I know the keys that I can read a, a little bit, but I just take it upon hearing and I play and I mess around with it until I find a note. But like my auntie, she's a, a little ear. bit you yeah, have a good, good ear, ear. Yeah. yeah. So she's a little bit older and and the um, part of playing music. So it really wasn't the hip hop jams. So I would be playing like things like Mission Impossible and Char- oh. Charlie things like that. Oh like, man, you know. So it being an older older vibe and like church more church music like Kirk Franklin and things like that. So. Okay. Like in the church setting because she was always in the church setting, so that was pretty cool. Just learning it like that, and then as time went on, like I would play songs like "No Sleep" by Wiz Khalifa, and I'll just be listening <laughs> to my ear, or I'll play like the slower songs, some Alicia Keys or Beyonce, Aww. somewhere around there. So it was things like that when I was playing the piano. But now that we speak about it, it's like like I just purchased this home. I actually want to give me a piano in there. Oh, nice! Thanks for the idea. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's a, well, that's a great idea. <laughs> I appreciate it. You said something last year that just was like one of those things like a come to Jesus moment for me yeah. where I was like, Oh my God, of course the nickel corner has yeah. come more become more and more important. And you said that last year during one of your press conferences, and it just kind of hit me. It was like, wait a minute, as these positions and defenses are changing, and it's become more of a pass happy league and you need that nickel corner out there more and more. Of course that position is coming more important. Yeah. And when you said that, that just kind of hit me. And it was like, cause people were talking about you playing safety. People yeah. were talking about you playing on the outside. And it's like, no, he's, he's so good in the slot. We need him in the slot. And then you had talked about the importance of that role. It, it really has grown in yeah. importance over the last handful of years. Definitely. And, I mean, it's, like I said, it's definitely important. You know, you got that kind of that, that hybrid. You got that linebacker. You got that corner. And you got that safety. It's almost you got all three in one. And it's like, you know, sometimes our – our defense allows me to play back. Or sometimes my defense allows me to play up back as a corner. But then sometimes our defense allows me to play in the middle as if I'm a linebacker. And But he got speed. And, you know, if you're tough, you, you're good. So, you know, I feel like it's definitely involving. I mean, I watch a lot of Kenny Moore. And, you know, he plays that position so, so well. And, you know, guys like that that does it, does that, plays that position, definitely coming from our defensive um, scheme and, you know, our coaches came from there running it, and so I watch them a lot, and, you know, I learn a lot from that, and, I mean, almost almost 80% of the game, you know, I'm out there. And you need a nickel back out there because the offenses are starting to evolve, evolve now. You know, they're not running that downhill, you know, power game as much. They're starting to spread you out and get all these fast guys out there, and, you know, you're expecting no, – no doubt, no, no slack to the linebacker. You know, I love my linebacker. Right. But they just can't be sitting there trying to check a guy like Tyreek Hill in the slot. It's like – you need right. a guy that can be able to move and at the same time be able to tackle. So I feel like it's a very important position. And as years come, you know, he's just going to get even more bigger and, you know, more recognition for the most part. What we, Jonathan Gannon, your defensive coordinator, I mean, you guys were top 10 in yards, you know, last season and all that uh, in terms of fewest yards allowed, top 10, which a lot of people gloss over. But he kind of took a lot of flack when he said, I don't have a scheme. And then he later – Walked it back a couple of weeks later and said, well, of course I have a scheme, but I try to play to my, you know, coach to my player's strengths, mm-hmm. which is All obviously right. important. When you think of the scheme that you guys were running last year, what can you tell me about it? Like, what stood out to you about it? I mean, he's a he's a mastermind. I mean, JG is like, you know, he's definitely a player's coach. You know, he tries to, you know, what works best for his players. And, you know, it's never a time where you could come in there and say, like, hey, coach, like, you know, if someone doesn't get anything or, or they don't like it or whatever, they're not with it, you know, he, he'll figure a way to make sure you like it or he'll wipe it so you, we can play fast. And, you know, that's what helped us out. I mean, like you said, top ten and things. And I'm excited for this year. And, you know, we're just ready, ready to put it together. That's great. Now, you guys, one of the things we scream about in the media and fan base as well is, like, we always want an aggressive defense to go after the quarterback mm-hmm. and all that stuff. And that's all stuff that we want to see. There wasn't a lot of that aggression in terms of going after the quarterback, blitzing and all that stuff until it seemed like later in the season. Mm-hmm. Do you think with the new personnel it will allow you guys to be a little bit more aggressive? Well, first off, do you agree with that? Yeah. And second, do you think you'll be allowed to be a little bit more aggressive? 
Yeah, I mean, um, you know, I don't know, I don't know, you know, I'm, I don't have JD's mind, so you know, I don't, I don't really, I can't really tell you, but you know, all I can really say about that question is like me going into this year, it don't matter what JG calls, if it's aggressive or if it's passive or if it's whatever it is, mix of a bo- mixture of both or one more than the other. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm just willing to, you know, give it my all. And as long as we were playing fast and, you know, working together, like it all comes together. You know, it's times when it's times to be aggressive and it's times where you don't need to be aggressive. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it this year. I'm really, I'm really, I'm pretty sure JG has the right game plan for all of us that, that's going to be out there on the field and playing on that defense. So, Whatever he throws at us, I know it won't it won't be it won't be no curveball. It'd be it'd be a, it'd be a definitely a fastball. So we'd be ready to ready to hit it out the park. Here's what I want you to do at training camp. I want you to walk up to to JG. Yeah. And I want you to go, hey, buddy, let's be more aggressive. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just, try, just try smack him in his chest. Just too. smack him in his chest. <laughs> JG, he, he can be like what? He, go, <laughs> he might smack me in my chest before I even get to smack him because he'd be so hyped. <laughs> Is he is he one of those that really intense guys? Oh yeah, guy? yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. He, I mean, not like intense in the weight room, but in the um, film room. I mean, he 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 definitely got some juice to him. But you know, when you get out there on the field, he he definitely he comes alive, and I like it. You know, he he's he's young, he's you know energetic, and he that's all of our culture staff to be honest. Starting with Nick, so it's definitely fun um, when you out there and, and them guys like and energetic with you. You know, it's just not like. I want to want to say old school, but it's, it's not old school. It's just, you know they out there having fun with you. So Nick seems like one of those guys that you yeah. that you knew in high school or whatever yeah. that just always wanted to talk about one thing, and it was like football. But there's Nick. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about football again. <laughs> you know, the, the, like he just seems like he absolutely loves it. Yeah, like I just mean, loves it. I won't say that's even just Nick. I mean it's everybody. All uh-huh. the coaches they love it, and you know you could tell, you could see it. But Nick, he's Nick. He's right into it. Like he's uh-huh. like. He wears, and I like it because he's like every day he comes to work, he have someone's shirt on, like literally, like right, right, right. it be BGs or it be Jalen Hurts or it be it be someone's shirt or he wearing someone's um someone's clothes and he's funny. Like one day he came to work and I think it was Halloween. He cut his his facial hair just like Jay Hurts. He got his shirt on. Like I'm like, where are you? He go point at his shirt. I say, oh, okay, guy. I he see dressed you. up as Jalen Hurts for Halloween. He dressed up as Jalen Hurts for Halloween. Or now you guys have, like I said, a bunch of new additions. One of them's James Bradbury. Another's Hassan Reddick. You got a couple of rookies there. Uh, linebacker Nicobe Dean, who I mentioned, Jordan Davis. Yep. Uh, what's what are you guys feeling going into training camp? What are you guys feeling going into the year, as far as uh, what looks like upgrades going into it? Oh, definitely, they all upgrades. I mean, they're they're all great players. No, I didn't. I just met JB this year when he came in, and he's definitely a, a, a man. I like a, he has a mastermind of the game, and he always want to know where his help at, and he's asking questions. And you know, he he knows football for sure. He's been in the league for a while, but you know, I'm excited to see what he do. And you know, dealing with Hassan, he's definitely definitely a baller. I mean, just watching all his stats, and you know, he's going to be a power force up there in the line. And Jordan Davis or Nickobe, like them them guys is. They're big, and definitely Jordan. He's huge. Really? I'm scared of him. Good <laughs> and he's athletic. He, he, he got a little mini basketball room in our weight room. He comes in there going through the legs, behind the back, and jumping around. I said, whoa. Whoa, Jordan like, Davis is yeah, like. No, I think he yeah. could do a windmill dunk. How <laughs> huge he is. But, uh, yeah, he's pretty good. And, and Kobe, he, he's definitely, I know he's good. I mean, I've been watching the film with him, and he, he can run. I mean, sideline to sideline. He can, he can definitely come up and hit you. And, you know, I was actually – Surprised we actually had the opportunity to get him, man. That's definitely definitely a good thing. So I'm excited to see what all the new additions we got from the defense to do and offense. So, mm-hmm. you know, it'd be fun. Uh, I know one of the things that you and Dallas Goddard were doing, uh, Zach Berman from The Athletic actually uncovered this a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. You guys you guys play Fortnite, but then you guys played Fortnite. <laughs> like you guys actually had Nerf guns yeah. and stuff and were shooting each other in the house and stuff. Yeah. Um, What's the what's the game now? Is it still Fortnite? Is it Call of Duty like everybody else? Uh, what's the game now? Because I know you're a big gamer. Yeah. Uh, so the video game I play now, me and Dallas actually got a um, bet going on. I oh won't boy. say the amount we got okay. up for it, but okay. it's a lot. You bet a couple. You bet a couple of golf carts on it. Uh, yeah, Loser plays be, the carts. Yeah. Yep. You get the carts. So <laughs> the game is Dallas is not a real like battle royale type of guy, okay. shoot him type guy, but he likes shooting games. So. I said, all right, Dad, let's make a bet. He said, what's the bet? I said, who can finish GTA first? So this game is long. I'm talking long. 
So right now he's he's doing a pretty good job. Um, he's at fifty two percent. I'm at I'm at thirty eight. But I know I'm <laughs> but you're way talking about hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent in the game. Oh wow! So, okay. I know for a fact that I'm gonna win though because I know I'm a better shooter than him, and I'm I don't he can't he can't last for long. He he has ADHD. He play a game for like ten minutes. He got to go do something else after that. So I can play a game all day. Hungry at all? Yes, I actually am. Nothing like a diner. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, diners? I love diners, actually. Yeah, they give you all the options. Yeah, it's all right there. Yeah, all right there. Comes out pretty fast. Don't have I'm, to worry about nothing. I'm going to steal a line from Will Ferrell. The thing I like about a diner with a lot of options, you know they do them all perfect. <laughs> <laughs> have to. <laughs> All right, Avante, here we are, Rams Diner in Westchester, uh, the home of some very famous meals, if I'm not mistaken. Here we are, the Philly cheesesteak wrap. There we go. <laughs> I heard it's good. I have to try it. Now that comes with chips. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Like, what kind of chips? I love rough. Okay. <laughs> Just whatever he got. <laughs> whatever he I'll got. eat with the professional athletes eating. Because <laughs> he's done better athletically. <laughs> yeah. than I, have. I peaked in eighth grade. I peaked in eighth grade. Oh, you're the best. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Shannon. Appreciate it. I'm curious to get your take on it because you're going to be defending against them, playing against the Washington Commanders, Carson nice. Wentz. Uh, Wentz. One time, obviously, the link going down there to D.C. as well, Landover, Maryland, whatever. Yep. Uh, what's it going to be like facing your former quarterback? That'd be fun. Um, I, I actually miss Carson. He, he, he's, he's definitely a great guy. And, you know, I'm looking forward to playing against him. And then try to ask for his jersey, but no. <laughs> You're going to give it to Dallas. Dang it. But, oh, is, but no. is dibs already been called? Dibs probably already been called. No, me and Dallas is going out to see who he, who he end up giving it to. I hope he doesn't give it to either of us, so I won't feel bad if he give it to him. But, no, so, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play him. I mean, I'm looking forward to see what he got this year. Definitely with the commander. We get to play him twice. Right. So, that'd be fun. Hopefully, I can get an interception off of him. Hey, Carson, throw me a pick. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate it. But, so, yeah, that'd be fun. It's interesting you say that because obviously there's a lot of controversy that surrounds him as a teammate. And what you're saying is you haven't seen any of that type of, like the negative side no, from what people have talked about. I haven't. Um, definitely, I mean, I've talked to Carson a lot. I mean, you know, I deal with Carson because he deals with Dallas a lot. And you know, I'm always around Dallas. And, you know, my locker was right across from Carson. So I always talk to him. I mean, we went hunting together. We didn't done things together. So, you know, Carson is overall is a good player, good person. and. You know, I don't, I don't see why people would, would say bad things about him on and off the field, whatever they're saying in the locker room, whatever are, these little conspiracies that come out in these media. So, I don't, I don't believe it. I, I know him as a person, so I look forward to playing him, and it'd be fun. Jalen Hurts, I thought impressed me in his first year as a starter. I've been aware, everyone's aware of his work ethic and all that. Has he looked any different? Has he looked better, improved, all that stuff? Have you seen the work paying off so far from what you saw uh, last year going into camp? Definitely. I mean. I would say 100%, you know, just playing against him. Like, he's good. He's looking real good. And, you know, it's like you said, his work at this, his leadership, he's been improving the deep ball. I mean, he threw some deep balls. I, I, I was like, whoa. Like, it, it could be, we were in perfect position, but he's just putting them in spots where only his guys can catch it. And, you know, I'm excited to see that. You know, you're going against a good defense and we're going against a great offense. So, like, it's, it's definitely going to be fun this year watching him do his thing, and like you say, he knows the def I mean, uh, he knows the um, playbook a lot more because I wouldn't consider his first year like really his first year. The you know, four he, stars, yeah, whatever. Yeah. He came in with four stars. Then he had a whole year under his belt, learning a new system, and then now he's adapted and he's in there and he's seeing the game different. He's, you know, like I said, when I was playing ball, and the more years you get underneath your belt, it starts to slow down for you. It's almost really great. Uh oh, oh fantastic. Uh oh, this does that, to the side. This, yeah, this. right. This looks like it is. Uh, Thank you. Up to par right. from what we have heard. Oh, I'm glad. Thank you. It's one of my favorite things. Oh, okay. So, uh, I think good. I'm good. You ready to do this? The famed Here wrap cheesesteak wrap. Let's try it. The health conscious, <laughs> low carb it. cheesesteak wrap. Mm. Oh yeah. That's actually mm. really good. That's really good. Mm. That's good. Mmm. I wish this place wasn't wasn't so far away from me. <laughs> it's 30 minute barring traffic to Tennessee. Yeah, oh, man. <laughs> if I wasn't in Jersey, oh man. It, it, this would be a place I come to every day. Oh, this is so this mm. is really good. You got one second, I gotta eat real quick. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, take, we're taking Well that was fantastic. Uh, well, Very, wait, I heard of um something in Philly called a scrapple. Scrapple, yeah. Scrapple, yeah. No, I'm at a diner. The diner is the is best that place right? to get scrapple. Is that what it's yeah, called? Yeah, you've got you, Yes. 
Right. Okay, so the diner's the best place to get Scrapple. Okay. How is the Scrapple here? It's ordered a lot. It's <laughs> well, you st steer us in the right direction with this uh, wrap. So for the first time, I think I you, you, you want to try Scrapple? I have to. I was raised on Scrapple, so this, this will be great. <laughs> this will be great. A little Philly thing we'll do right All here. Right. A little Scrapple, Avante Mac, first time Scrapple. <laughs> wow, you could not have... Describe it. You could not have described it any better, and you could not have found a more central casting piece of Scrapple. Can we just look at that for a second, folks? Just, you describe it to the max. Look at that. You put that right on your roof. Uh huh. The house will never leak again. Okay. <laughs> All right. You can eat it. Huh? Syrup too. Okay. Oh, so, okay. oh so a little That's syrup. A little side. So, so which one is better? Personally, syrup for me. Mm -hmm. Syrup for you. Okay. Right. Do you like ketchup? I like ketchup. But you can do whatever I like, you want. I, I, like I the only thing I say is take. Thank you so much. You're thank welcome. you, much, Uh Just at, in its natural state. I want to sit here and I want to watch this happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the corners are always delicious. Yeah. Corners are the best. Yeah. So look, this is what I'm gonna do. Do your thing. Whatever you like to do. I'm just so thrilled that you're gonna, I'm gonna try take two scrapple. bites. I'm gonna take two bites. You're guaranteeing two. Guaranteeing two. Ooh. So I'm gonna have to make them a little smaller so I can, you know, <laughs> just in case. Uh huh. One might taste better than the other. Mm. All right. It's gonna change your life. In. It's gonna change your life. Let me see. Let me put some sorb on this one. <laughs> there you go. Okay. All right. Here we go. You're like a sommelier trying to break down what notes you're getting. Because I don't know what it tastes like. <laughs> right, right, right. It's definitely diff difficult to describe. Uh, it is harder. It's, it's definitely hard. Crispy, crispy on the outside, and then like almost like a cakey kind of texture in the middle. Yeah. Right? Like a hash brown. Kind of like a hash brown, yeah. <laughs> Except totally, there's no vegetables in that. That's what, that's what I can guarantee you. <laughs> this is different. This is different? This is different. Is it, is it, <laughs> is it good? <laughs> It's, it's, I could, I could probably eat it once okay. a week, maybe. Okay. Once a week? Maybe. Okay. All right, well, don't do that. No, I'm not. Don't do that. No, don't worry. I can't do that. <laughs> That's a no. professional athlete. Yeah, I, would I do. can't do that. I look bad on me. But mm -hmm. off season, I could probably tackle it once a week. Yeah. All right, ready to get going? Let's go. All right, let's head back to Sky. What was your welcome to the NFL moment? Everyone's got one. What's yours? Well, welcome to the NFL moment. Uh, I think we was playing the Vikings. And I was running down on a punt. It was we was we were putting the ball, and a guy caught it, and he ran far right. I was coming from the right side. He ran to his well far left, but I was coming and I was running. And I, this was before they started. They took out the crackbacks, I think. Oh my God! As soon as I turned left, I got hit so hard. I was seeing stars. I got I, you know me. I'm like I gotta get up. I gotta get up. I got up. I'm like. Yo, I walked back to the side and I said, hey, Dallas, can you please tell me how many fingers I'm even holding up? Because I don't even think I knew how many I had up. But that was my welcome to the NFL moment right there. That was painful. Uh, that was so painful. we're coming to the end of the interview here. Expectations coming up for the 2022 Philadelphia Eagles. What are we, what are we thinking this year? Expectations? Are you saying for the team or yourself? You get whatever you'd like to. Whatever. Go ahead. Be a me like, guy. Be a me guy, guy first. I'm definitely not a me guy, but I want to be a me guy. Um, no, just to play as best as I can. Um, you know, I want to do better than last year. That's my expectations. And you know, if I play like that up to my capability, I feel like you know I'll, I'll put the you know team in good spots to you know me playing my best spot, best ball that you know I'm giving it my all and you know pushing it to be the best. So uh, other than that. As a team, you know, of course you all want to win the Super Bowl. That's, you know, the number one goal would be at the top of the mountain at the end of the day. But, you know, we got to start with our division. You want to win there. Then you want to you want to take tackle on the um, playoffs, and then you just make it to that last bowl game and, and that, that 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 Super Bowl game. And you go, you do that, you're good. Got to win it. So, you know, just starting now. We're going into camp and you know building that connection. That all the little things that you need to, you know, take on a long season and you'll be good. Well, this has been a lot of fun, Devontae, yes, seriously. And I, I had known you a little bit before. We had uh, had some great conversation before, and uh, really glad you were able to do this and, and be our first victim ah, thank of, you. of it the was, Sky Drive. It definitely was fun. I appreciate the Sky Drive. I'll take it again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, and maybe we'll get Dallas to rebut some of your statements. Yeah, you might even get him in here. He won't lie to you about it, but he might go. So. <laughs> Avante, appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you so much, and good luck appreciate this season. It. Thank you.